In March 1980, Patricia Morales de Girino and her sister had just left a wedding in a little chapel in El Salvador's capital and were on their way to the reception. And then I spotted him, Morales de Girino recalls. He was in his white cassock. Oscar Arnulfo Romero, the Roman Catholic Archbishop of San Salvador, was standing alone in a garden outside the church. We were his admirers and his followers and we had never met him before, Morales Digerino, now 55, says. So we approached him, right? We're two teenagers, just to say hello, and how are you? And he was very soft-spoken. He said, preoccupado, which means worried. Preoccupado. Two days later, Romero was dead, gunned down by members of a right-wing death squad. This Sunday, 38 years after his assassination, Romero will be canonized as a Catholic saint. Known to his followers as Monsignor, Monsignor, Romero was a champion of human rights at a time when El Salvador was on the brink of civil war. His tireless fight for civil rights ranks him among figures like Martin Luther King Jr. His devout following filled San Salvador's towering cathedral each mass. It was packed, says Octavio Durand, a Franciscan brother who started working with Romero as a 21-year-old seminarian. I remember when Monsignor Romero was making his entrance, people clapping. Romero's voice echoed above the violence that engulfed his country. At a time of so much confusion and anguish, Romero said in his homily on February 10, 1980, I want to be a messenger of hope. In the midst of tragedy and bloodshed, there is hope. At that time, hope was like water in the desert, Duran says. It was scary to live in those days. In the late 1970s, civil war loomed. Decades of government oppression sparked massive protests. Peasant workers united in the countryside, demanding basic rights. Popular opposition groups and teachers' unions called for wealth distribution while leftist guerrillas took up arms against the military and government elites. In rural Catholic churches, some priests and nuns supported the peaceful cause on behalf of the poor. But they were up against El Salvador's corrupt oligarchy. The country's so-called 14 families, who controlled most of the land and wealth, accused the priests and peasants of a communist uprising. The Salvadoran National Guard roamed streets, searching for subversives, a voice for the voicelesses, sainthood for El Salvador's. Where are you?